Hey everyone. So today's video, I want to respond to one of the questions I've received from my network. So one of my friends asked me, is it possible to come up with a pipeline such that you can probably take some notes in your Excel spreadsheet or your Google spreadsheet and then somehow populate these things into a Word document and then have it automatically populated. And more specifically, if there's some sort of a notes here that's capitalized, is it possible to create a title automatically from these capitalized letters and then translate this Excel spreadsheet into a document? So that is the premise of today's video. And I want to just show you what this idea could look like. Uh, obviously, this is not the only solution. This is just some solution I come up today. So with that being said, let's see that uh, how this thing could work. Uh, for example, I have a fake data in front of me. Uh, they have numbers of notes taken. Uh, this is the dates as well as the actual content. Uh, perhaps some content you have to do something, some content you have nothing to do. That's okay. For the things that you have to do, let's say this content, uh, perhaps there's a capitalized letter that's about a name of a movie or TV show. In this case, I just make a fake name, say Harry Potter. Then the idea is, can we write some sort of script in Python such that we can automatically populate this title to be the capitalized letter. In this case, the first one will be Harry Potter. And then on top of that, we need to take this Excel spreadsheet and then create a document. So this is a fake data. Obviously, the title column is empty. So what I did is I'm going to upload this onto a drive. So let's say that's my drive. And I have a test Excel spreadsheet. That's the important part. This is the Excel spreadsheet not the Google spreadsheet. And then I have a Python notebook. So now let me show you what the Python notebook looks like. This is the Python notebook of what it can be. Uh, here we have a step one of getting the data. You can use Panda library to uh, simply read the Excel and then provide a path. Now this path is assuming that you have the Google Drive mounted. Uh, so what that means is you go to the left navigation bar, one, two, three, four, click on the fourth one. And then you have this navigation bar. Uh, you got navigate to whatever you are, whatever you want your file to be saved at. In this case, I save in a folder called Anna. And then that's where my file is. I click on the three dots and boom, there you go. I have a copy path. And then I can paste the path here. And that's going to tell computer to load the Excel spreadsheet using that path. I can print out the test. That's going to be what the path look like. And as you can see, it should be exactly identical as this Excel spreadsheet. Now, with that being said, that's my data. The first thing I need to do is to figure out a function to process data such that I could get the capitalized letter out and set it as a unique title. So here I have a helper function. Let me zoom in a little bit. And then you can see that the helper function is called extract consecutive capitals. Uh, you're going to take an input S. That's going to be a string. And then you can use this function to essentially process it. And this, this function will give you the title. Now you have a for loop to loop that function, basically repeat it every row. And then every time you're going to have a title, if the capitalized letter is inside of that content, if not, and there's nothing there, then obviously the title will be empty. So this way you'll be able to update your test data with the content populated into the title column. So now that's your data. It's ready. The next step is to somehow take one row and then write a small paragraph of a to-do list or sketch or brief or summary, whatever you want, and then turn that into a document, paragraph by paragraph. Uh, so I come up with this idea of using ChatGPT to do it. The idea is simple. You take one row and then you can kind of uh, re-process the data into one big string. Now, the reason I do this is because the API of ChatGPT, it kind of takes a string as a prompt. Uh, that's why I need to process whatever it is I want to process as a string. Now, the only thing left to do is I write the instruction for ChatGPT in a very specific way. I say write a small paragraph with summary of to-do item using the index, the number, the date, uh, the content provided below. And then I really make sure to specify the capital letters are movie and TV show names. And then on top of that, I provide the actual content. Uh, you can see that this is a variable per row context underscore. Uh, this is defined here, which is this big string uh, that is coming from 
i equals to zero so that means it's the first row of the fake data that i'm looking at uh, so that gives me the prompt and i throw that prompt into this open ai completion function and that will give me the output uh, all i have left to do is to extract the output using this line of code and that will give me the actual content written in a, a human understandable way so that's it that's all i need to do and then here we have one last step which is essentially to create the document so i can say a step four let me see if that's actually step four step three step four that's correct step four is to uh, create and save word document so the way to do that is to use this package called as post words you need to obviously load the required library point to the direction that you want to save and in this case i have this folder called anna uh, that's the location or the directory where i want to save uh, this word document uh, so i tell computer hey change the directory to there and after that's done i can simply just uh, do some editing of the document that i want i can use this code to do some further editing and then i have a for loop so this for loop is going to loop through the test every row in that test and then it's going to essentially repeat what i have done above so the things i've done above is to uh, just to jog jog a memory a little bit uh, takes one row create this one big string and then use chat gpt to write a small paragraph of what that a string can be right summary sketch whatever you want uh, and then it becomes this sentence here now that sentence is the paragraph that i want to write okay so i save that in here in this variable called per row context from chat gpt and then i essentially grab that text outside of that output from chat gpt and i save it as this variable called this underscore output that is the final form that i want and i use this builder dot write line function to essentially populate a paragraph so this right line means that i'm writing one paragraph in that word document i'm about to save and boom there you go uh, this is done in a for loop and it's uh, packed it up with tqdm uh, that shows you the progress bar so you know you're not waiting there forever right um, and then once that for loop is running and you can just do a doc dot save uh, that will save your uh the document or the word document format file that you want uh, so i'm going to run this and as i'm running it notice that i do not have any word document in the folder right uh, i can refresh and then or i could go to uh, this director here i can refresh and obviously there's no word document here uh, so what i'm going to do is point to the directory by running this line of code and then I'm going to run this whole chunk of code uh, to actually save that document. Uh, so once this is run successfully, you'll be able to see a Word document file here. Uh, so let me run that. You're going to see a progress bar, one, two, three. That's because the fake data only has three rows. And then, boom, there you go. That's done. Uh, I can refresh a couple of times. You're going to see a out dot doc file here. And same thing, if I can navigate to this directory i'm going to need to refresh my screen you're going to see this file here i can double click on that open it up and then let me show you guys what it looks like and boom there you go you'll be able to see this paragraph populated here and this paragraph populated here and this paragraph populated here so earlier it probably a little bit too much because ChatGPT is getting a little bit too creative so the way i fix this part is i write this prompt down in the instruction I say if there's nothing to do just say nothing to do and don't create anything uh, so it turned out that this sentence is actually very important in the instruction otherwise ChatGPT will just go ahead and then create whatever it wants even though that it's not in the data set so uh, i just ran this one and then i save the document and boom it's able to say do nothing here so there you go uh, hopefully this gives you some food for thought and with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video.